In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install Controlify for Minecraft Java version 1.21.11. So, let's get started. To begin, simply go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, go to your search bar and search up mod Rinth, like this. Now enter, here you'll find mod.com, click on mod Rinth, and this will bring you to this page here. Now, all you have to do is go to the top of the website to discover content, then go down to mods. Now go to search mods and search up Controlify, like this, Controlify. Here, go ahead and click on the mod's name once you find it, and you'll be sent to this page. Now, simply go to versions, and then what you want to do is go to game versions and choose 1.21.11. Here, most people will be using Fabric, so I will be using this for today's video. So find the release for 1.21.11 Fabric and then click on the green download button. Okay, this is Controlify. Now, we need to check for dependencies, which we can find by going to the name here and clicking on the release name here. This will bring you to this page. Now scroll down and if you keep doing this, you will see that we have something called dependencies. So here, Find Fabric API and click on it. Now go to versions and then go to game versions and choose 1.21.11. Here find the latest release for that and then click on the green download button. Now what you want to do is go back to the previous page, which is this here with the dependencies, then go to yet another config lib here, click on the button and it will bring you here. Now just like before go to versions. Then go to game versions and choose 1.21.11. Here, find the fabric version. Remember, it needs to match with the previous mods. So find 1.21.11 fabric and then click on the green dollar button. And there you go. That will be yet another config lib for you. So what we need here is one last thing, which is fabric. To get fabric, go to a new tab, go to your search bar and search up fabric minecraft. Like this. Now enter, here you'll find fabricmc.net, click on fabric, it will send you to this page here, here simply go to the blue download button, and then go to the blue download for windows button. And there you go. So this is everything we need from our web browser, so you can either close or minimize your web browser, I'll close mine, and then you can go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. Here what you want to do is find fabric installer and double click it. Here it is going to show up with a installer window like this. Make sure the information is correct, such as the Minecraft version, and then click on install. Okay, and then close. Okay, here all you want to do is go to the Minecraft launcher, and with the Minecraft launcher, we'll be able to add the three mods we have and add it to the mods folder. By the way, you can access the mods folder by going to installations on the top here, so installations and then hovering over fabric loader and going to the folder icon. Here, go ahead and find mods, double click the folder, and once you're in the folder, go to downloads, select the three mods and then copy them. Here, go to the top left arrow to go back to the previous folder and then click on paste. Here, you copy pasted yet another config lib, fabric API and controlify to dot of mods. So once you did this here, what you want to do is go back to the Minecraft launcher, go to play, make sure fabric is selected here, and if it is, click on play. And now you have to wait for Minecraft to open up automatically. Okay, so once Minecraft is open, you can go to a single player world, a server, or a realm. I'll go to a single player world here, and you can go ahead and start messing with Controlify. So basically, number one, there's multiple things to it. If you go to your options here and go to controls here, what's gonna happen, you'll find a button called controller settings. So here, this is where we have the one thing here which says no controllers connected. Now, here there's multiple things to explain here. Number one, I don't have a controller connected to my computer. So of course this is what I will get. If you do have a controller and you have this message, what you wanna do is go to settings. So for example, you can access settings in multiple ways. So if we go here, for example, we can go to settings. 
and here what you want to do is go to Bluetooth and devices and here you can do add device and you can go ahead and do something like this so if you have a Bluetooth controller you can connect it like this and just turn on Bluetooth first and then you can go ahead and actually add your controller if you have another way of doing it you can go ahead and do this for example and you can go ahead and actually add your controller to your device and be able to actually have it show up here if you want to change some other settings such as the global settings here you can do this and here you're gonna see that we have other things you can go ahead and change but for now we need to go ahead and actually have a controller and it will be able to actually go ahead and add a controller so here you have this here if you want to go further into this but what actually matters here is with a controller added to your computer it's going to show up here and you'll be able to actually go ahead and change things but in this case this is how we download and install Controllerify for Minecraft Java version 1.21.11. So if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And see you for the next one. Bye.